check this out. Y'all know Dwayne Wade's son, which everybody is calling his daughter, Zaya, which is not a real name. I can't remember his real name, but it's not Zaya. But anyway, so there was a picture going around the internet, and this picture was of him, her, whatever you want to call her, him, um, kissing uh, what it looked like a boy, right? Get this. He's 14 years old, and there's a picture flowing around online of him kissing another boy, right? And the internet was outraged, said that no 14-year-old should be on the internet, should have a picture on the internet of them kissing another child. This is child, you know, the thing I can't say on YouTube. But anyway, so everybody was outraged, and I saw it. I was a little outraged as well. But then I did some research. I wanted to find out who this boy was, right? I went to his Instagram page. Come to find out, it's a girl. So, Zaya, who's a male, who thinks she's a girl, is dating a girl who thinks she's a boy. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I just I just don't know what's happening to our society. Everything has been twisted and flipped upside down. Like, okay, I understand if this boy thinks he's a girl, therefore he's attracted to boys, but you like a boy who's actually really a girl. So basically, you're straight. You, you dress like a girl, you wear dresses, you wear makeup, but you're straight, okay? See, I'm, I'm just confused. I don't know what the hell is going on, but I don't know, I guess it kind of gave me a little hope because he's not gay. So if he's not gay, then maybe he's just going through a phase where he wants to wear girl's clothes, he's confused, he wants to feel accepted, he wants to feel loved. So he's doing this to get acceptance, to get some kind of notoriety because maybe he doesn't feel confident in himself as a male, so he dresses like a female, gets all this praise, gets this, this admiration from the left, so he continues to do this, but He's not gay. He's not gay. Okay. I, I can deal with that. Hopefully he'll snap out of it. But you just never know with these kids that have been indoctrinated by parents who, who want to show off their their transgender kid or their, their homosexual kid because it makes them feel good. These parents are freaking sick. Okay. These parents are absolutely insane. They're sick. All they want is attention for themselves, so they're using their own children to get that attention. I've seen countless videos of parents on TikTok. Yeah, this TikTok is like the cesspool of liberal parents trying to indoctrinate their own children. But anyway, I've seen countless videos and the parents are, are talking about, look at my trans kid, my, look at my gay baby. There's no such thing, okay? There's no such thing. You lead your children down that path to becoming homosexual. You lead your children down that path to become transgender, pansexual, non-binary, all that crap. You lead your children down that path. If your children do not know about these things, then they cannot be these things, okay? So check yourself, okay? Because we don't need to be filled, uh, we don't need to have a society that's filled with all these different pronouns and different genders and different identities, sexual identities, because you're confusing the future generation and all you're trying to do is create more people who think like you. And that's very, very unfortunate because kids should be able to think how they want to think. Kids should be able to think how biology tells them to think. Biology tells little boys to be attracted to little girls. Biology tells little girls to be attracted to little boys. That's how it works. That's how our society functions. If you have 
boys being attracted to other boys and girls being attracted to other girls, eventually the population will cease to exist because who's going to procreate? Not everybody can afford um, the, these medical things that allow people who aren't supposed to have children to have children. Not everybody can afford that. So our population will cease to exist. Human beings will cease to exist if more and more and more and more and more people become homosexual. So that tells you right there that it's not right. It's not right for people to be doing that. And I get it if you can't help that, whatever, but you know it's not right. You know we cannot function in a society that's filled with nothing but homosexuals. So, but that's for you to sort out yourself if you're if you're a homosexual, you know, I have I have no judgment for you. I just, you know, we gotta call it is like we gotta call it like it is. Basically, we gotta call it like it is. And I'm sorry, but <clears throat> we have a lot of children out there that are, are feeding into this stuff and they're thinking that, oh, well, if I become homosexual, then I will be accepted now. I will be part of a community now. And a lot of, you know, human beings, we have a desire, we have a need to feel like we're, we belong, to feel like we're a part of a community. And that's, I think, what all these children are looking for. They just want to feel like they belong. They're part of a community. They're part of a group. They feel accepted and it makes them feel good. So any way they can find that, they will find that. I mean, we got a lot of kids that grow up in bad neighborhoods and they end up in gangs, not because they want to be gangsters, but because they want to be a part of a group and they don't have a father at home. They don't have a stable environment. So they're looking for some kind of community and they find community in the worst types of people. So maybe it just starts with us. It starts with the parents. And we have to ensure that our children always feel accepted, always feel loved, always feel like they're a part of something. Get them involved in sports, get them involved in church, get them involved in other activities where they can feel like they're a part of a group. And then maybe they won't go searching for that elsewhere, searching for that in the worst possible ways. And I think that'll work. But it is what it is. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments because I could be wrong. Well, I could be right, you know, but you tell me what you think. I love to have conversations with people about these issues because, you know, you just, you want to get all sides of the story. If you're a homosexual and you want to get in the comments, tell me, know, let me know how you feel. Or if you want to have a conversation, I love to have a conversation with you. All right. Well, that's all I got for this video. Thank you so much. Please hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe. Visit rightwingedangelstore.com. All that good stuff. Peace.